Welcome to episode 1, of our series on lubrication and types of oil in refrigeration, and air conditioning. Today, we are going to talk, about the type of oil, used in an air conditioning unit, with a capacity of 12,000 BTUs per hour, which operates, with our 410A refrigerant gas. Firstly, we must mention that most 12,000 BTUs per hour air conditioning units, use rotary compressors. These compressors are more cost-effective to manufacture, compact, and offer high performance, low noise levels, and acceptable durability. Now, it's time to answer the question, what type of oil, does the rotary compressor in a 12,000 BTUs per hour air conditioning unit use? Logically, the characteristics of the lubricant, will depend on the compressor manufacturer. However, in many cases, we are not aware of the machine's technical specifications, and as specialized technicians, we must perform an oil change in the compressor. So, the question arises again, what oil should we use, when we are not aware of the compressor's technical specifications, and need to perform maintenance, by changing the old lubricant? In such cases, we can generalize, and say that the replacement oil, should have similar technical characteristics, to the original oil, and belong to a reputable brand that guarantees the success of our work. Considering the above, the lubricant that we propose, as a perfect alternative for these situations, is the POE68 oil, which in most cases, is an excellent option to replace the old oil. The POE68, oil has a viscosity close to 68 centistokes at 40 degrees Celsius, which ensures optimal performance, at the working temperatures of the refrigerant and the equipment. It is essential to remember, that oil return can be challenging, in split-type air conditioning systems, because the oil must travel from the evaporator in the indoor unit inside the room, back to the compressor in the outdoor unit outside the room. During this process, problems may arise that affect the proper return of the lubricating oil, such as improper inclination or positioning of the return pipes. However, the type of lubricant, is crucial for the correct functioning of the equipment. When the oil does not return adequately to the compressor, there can be insufficient lubrication, leading to premature compressor wear, and a decrease in its lifespan. Additionally, excess oil in the evaporator, can affect the system's performance and reduce its efficiency. Not only is POE 68 oil, a perfect alternative for rotary compressors due to its quality, and viscosity, but it is also important for this oil to have a viscosity stability index, close to or higher than 100. Let's remember that the viscosity stability index, is a numerical measure that describes, how the viscosity of a lubricating oil varies, with changes in temperature. When a lubricating oil, has a viscosity index of 100, it is considered to have very stable viscosity over a wide range of temperatures. As the viscosity index decreases below 100, it indicates that the oil's viscosity, tends to change more significantly with temperature variations. In this case, according to the table, this POE 68 oil has a viscosity index of 120. So we can conclude that the POE 68 oil, not only has the perfect viscosity but must also have the capacity to stabilize this viscosity value. We hope that this episode, has been helpful in understanding the importance of choosing the right oil. See you in episode number 2.